Now, cross-border cargo, transport delays and costs are set to reduce by 20% once the single customs territory agreement is activated across the East African community. Commissioners of customs from all ESE border points are set to meet in the next two weeks to address cross-border formality checks for cargo transport. He said with more. Then Kenya adds almost $11.7 billion to Kenya's gross domestic product and grew by 8.1% in the last year. Despite this, cross-border cargo transport within the East African community has been hampered by cross-border delays due to checks, causing traffic snarl-ups that is leading transporters into heavy losses. Starting 19th, in the same place here, we are going to hold a meeting, a conference on non-tariff barriers, uh, followed by immediately the next day having a meeting of customs, commissioners of customs of EAC region. The authorities are setting frameworks to support multimodal transportation and transport interoperability among member states. But despite all that, we need to find how best we can be able to trade and uh, make the logistics uh, workable. Other continents have done a lot of progress that you can move from one part of a country to the end of a continent without being stopped along the way. <clears throat> this is our dream. It's not happening in Africa. We call each other brothers, but when it comes to dealing with one another, when we cross our borders, this imaginary border points that were created somewhere in Europe, we are caught up with those borders. Those need to be broken so that we can be able to trade as a continent and grow the concept of AFTA. Talking about border crossing, talking about the connectivity, what causes, and I'll pose this question, one of the things we'll be looking at is the single customs territory, which is a regime that has been implemented by all these member countries. If you clear your cargo in Mombasa through the single customs territory, ideally, and you have passed through a way bridge in Mariakani, ideally you should pass directly at Malaba without stopping. We need to see ways of leveraging on technology to be able to have seamless crossing of the border so that we don't have this congestion that we have. They say seamless connectivity among the countries will increase intra-Africa trade, which still lies at 17%. Hibak Said for Prime Edition.